Hey guys, Jay here, welcome to Neon's Battle, and today I'm going to show you how I paint a Death Watch veteran. Here are the paints I'll be using. I kit bashed this Death Watch veteran out of parts from the Death Watch veterans kit, a chain sword from the Space Marine Vanguard veterans kit, and a storm bolter I found on Shapeways from a seller called Pop Goes the Monkey. I'm also using a normal Space Marine backpack from the Tactical Marines box. The first thing I did is I airbrushed on some Vallejo Liquid Silver. I'm spraying this directly onto the bare plastic because this paint looks best when applied through an airbrush onto a clean, glossy surface. And something to keep in mind when you're putting this paint through your airbrush is to make sure that you clean the airbrush thoroughly before and after with plenty of alcohol. Next, I base coated the entire model except for his left hand with some Games Workshop Black Templar Contrast Paint. Next, I painted all of his pouches with some Vallejo Beastie Brown. I started to paint the knife Beastie Brown because I thought it was in the sheath, but it turns out he's freeballing it. I then washed all of the pouches with some Games Workshop Ergorex Earthshade. And then I finished the pouches with a little edge highlighting with some Vallejo Leather Brown. Next, I painted his weapons and the tubes on his arm with some Games Workshop Lead Belcher. I also painted his combat knife with lead belcher. I also painted the gaps in his armor where you can see his black carapace with lead belcher. I also picked out the decorative skulls that are on his armor. Then I painted the blade of his chainsword and some of the details on his storm bolter with some Games Workshop corn red. I also used the corn red to paint a stripe onto his right knee. I then highlighted all the areas I painted corn red with some Vallejo Bloody Red. For this step, I watered down the paint and then I layered it on little by little on the highest parts of the weapon to add more dimension. Then I edge highlighted all of the red areas with some P3 Kador Red, which is not a red, it's an orange. Next, I washed the metal parts of his weapons and his left arm and shoulder pad with some Games Workshop Null Oil. Next, I picked out all of his skull decorations with some Games Workshop Auric Armor Gold. This is a very nice gold paint, but it takes many thin coats to get a nice luster. I thought that there wasn't quite enough detail in the 3D print on the hand and the exposed bullets, so I covered them up with some Games Workshop Contrast Black Templar. While that was drying, I moved on to the shoulder pad. 
This Space Marine is from the Howling Griffins chapter, which means its shoulder pad should be checkered red and yellow. So I started out by painting the red checkers corn red. I then painted the yellow sections with some P3 Cygnus yellow. And the reason I'm going red to yellow instead of yellow to red is because it's going to be much easier to fix mistakes if I'm painting red over yellow instead of yellow over red. I continued going back and forth with the red and yellow paint fixing mistakes along the way until I was happy with the result. Next I watered down some P3K door red and I applied this to the yellow sections of the shoulder pad. This is going to be a little bit like a wash and it's going to bring out some of the details in the emblem and the edges of the shoulder pad. I did the same thing with the red panels, watering down some Vallejo Bloody Red. Then I went back in with some P3 Cygnus Yellow to brighten up the shoulder pad. Then I painted the symbol with some P3 Iron Hull Gray. I wanted it to look like it was edge highlighted, but I did not want to edge highlight all of the little details, and so I'm going to be base coating it with Iron Hull Gray, and then filling it in with some black paint. Then I went in with some Games Workshop lead belcher and I painted back on the details of his hands. Then I painted the exposed bullets on his Stormbolter with some Games Workshop Balthazar Gold. Next I painted his lenses with some white paint. And then I shaded the lenses with some Games Workshop Karaberg Crimson. And then I washed all of his gold decorations with some Games Workshop Airgrax Earthshade. And there is a finished Death Watch veteran with the optimal loadout, a Storm Bolter, and a Chainsword. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any ideas or techniques you'd like to see us do, please leave in the comments below. If you followed along with this tutorial, please post your work to Instagram and tag Eons of Battle so that we can share it. Thanks for watching.